Hey everyone, Jeff here again for Rhinoco Technology. Today we're going to be taking a brief look at the brand new Flashview 28 inch 4K Ultra HD LED display. In this video I'm going to be going over some basic specifications and features of this product and then I'm going to let you know why I think you should choose it for your next CCTV installation. Okay, let's jump straight into it. So this is the monitor in question. And as discussed earlier, it is a 28 inch LCD panel with a resolution of 3840 by 2160 or ultra high definition, also known as 4K. You can effectively think of this as an eight megapixel panel. The panel itself is actually an IPS or in-plane switching panel. This contrasts to uh, PC monitors, which are typically TN or twisted pneumatic panels. IPS panels, um, overall offer far greater image viewing angles. So you can actually view this monitor with, um, I suppose, correct color from far greater viewing angles. And they also allow for more vivid colors. So it's a great choice for a security monitor. It also has an LED backlight versus a more traditional fluorescent backlight. Most monitors have LED backlights these days, but in the context of security, again, um, it's much a much better choice to have an LED backlight versus a fluorescent backlight, for instance, because it will give you a greater lifetime, particularly if you're running the, the unit 24 hours a day. And it will also mean that your colors stay more accurate over time. Moving away from the panel. So if we look around the monitor itself now, you can actually see that we have a black metal frame. So it's actually a metal frame the whole way around the unit. It's actually metal in the back here as well, the whole way around. Metal extends also to the feet. So there's no plastic on the outside of this monitor. Um, continuing with the security narrative, if I just spin this monitor to the side here now, like so, you'll actually see the wide array of inputs on this monitor. So starting from the top, we have USB. We then have our RCA inputs or analog video and analog audio inputs. Moving down from there, we have VGA. We have DVI, HDMI and DisplayPort. So this basically covers every possible um, input that you'll see out there in the field. Obviously there are some other obscure inputs, but for the most part, this will cover everything. So again, a great choice for a monitor, uh, maybe to keep in your van. Um, it's a very versatile unit. If we spin back around now, um, this unit actually comes with a remote control as well. And the remote control can then be used to adjust the OSD. So for instance, I wanted to adjust between my sources, the ones that I pointed out before. You can see we have AV, display port, HDMI, DVI, VGA, and USB. And I'm actually going to show you the USB side of this device now. So uh, with the USB, you actually have the option of having a media player on here. So I can play photos, music, movies, or text. Um, this is possibly not as relevant in the security field, but if you wanted to show a slideshow or something on here, you are able to do that. So I mentioned you've got photos in here, anything that's on the USB stick, JPEGs, it will view. And I'll just zoom into one of them here. Load it up. And again, you can see just how vivid that panel is. We'll exit out of there. And just would like to show you the next side of this, which is movie. So we can actually view, we can do uh, playback on here as well a video and this allows me to also show you the fact that this unit has integrated speakers There you go. Quite clear, these speakers, they go quite loud as well, if you want to. But that's probably enough of that. And we can switch back by just pushing the source button. And we go back to HDMI. Okay, so the last thing that I'd like to point out on this monitor is the VESA or VESA mount on the back here. So this is a 200 by 200 millimeter VESA mount on the back here. Uh, it's designed to fit most brackets, most wall mount brackets. So you would use this when you're attaching to a wall or attaching to a drop down pole or something like that. Obviously very important in the security field when you are 
planning on installing it for a spot monitor as a spot monitor, for instance. Okay, so other than the monitor, what else comes in the box? So first one here, we've got the instruction manual. The remote that we mentioned earlier with included coin cell battery already installed. A one meter HDMI cable and a power cable. Now, why would I recommend that you use this product on your next installation? Well, there's a number of reasons. The first one that I'm going to go over is size. Um, so at 28 inches in size, this is a really great medium between your smaller sort of um, PC monitors. Okay, so around about you know, 24 inches or less typically, and your TVs, which are say typically 43 inches or more. This is still, you know, you get the, the large sort of larger size that you would get out of a TV versus a monitor, but at the same time, it's still small enough that you fit on a desk. Okay. Um, other great reason why I would suggest you use this on your next installation is your input choice. Now, as we went over earlier, you've got everything from, um, you know, your really old analog inputs, okay? So your RCA inputs from RCA to uh, VGA to DVI to HDMI to uh, DisplayPort. So really everything that you could want there all the way from your really old, obviously, RCA inputs all the way up to your most modern DisplayPort and HDMI inputs. So it's a really versatile display, really good to have with you at any point, um, whether or not, you know, you're using the high resolution side of things, um, it's really good to have. Of course, that does lead me to the third point, which is higher resolution. Now, as I mentioned before, this is actually the equivalent, let's say, of an eight megapixel display. All right. Um, now, when you pair this with a with a recorder, which is capable of 4K output or eight megapixel output, it really does make a massive difference to how the cameras appear to your customer. So while you know, you might, let's say we're going to put up a, we're going to install eight megapixel cameras, for instance, right? I'm going to install eight megapixel cameras and then I run them into a recorder, which is capable of eight megapixel and capable of 4K out. And then I go and put a one megapixel, say 720p display or a two megapixel 1080p full HD display. I'm not actually viewing the full resolution of that camera, even when I have it full screened. Okay, sure, I could zoom into the camera, but really it doesn't give you the same sort of effect. It's a massive, massive bonus if you can go down the path of actually showing the native resolution of the camera on screen. Okay, even if you don't have eight megapixel cameras, let's say you have four megapixel cameras, it's still obviously a massive jump over your two megapixel display. And even if you only have two megapixel cameras, if you're using a compatible recorder uh, with four cameras, you're actually going to be viewing all of them in a quad. You're going to be viewing all four cameras at their full resolution. Okay, so even then it makes a massive difference. So um, I suppose that's that's pretty much everything that I would recommend this monitor for. It's a really great choice. If you have any more questions, comments on that sort of thing, please feel free to leave them below. Alternatively, you can contact our sales team or anyone at Rhinoco Technology via the website or via the phone number listed on the screen below. I hope this video has been informative. Uh, Rhinoco Technology, providing products, solutions, and support for your business to make it more profitable since 1978. Thanks for watching.